Hey, Davis, this is Trevor from CUTigers.com here. Um, you scored your second touchdown of the season on Saturday. Um, were you a little bit surprised that you were running uh, that, that free, that wide open? I think Davis is on mute, Brian. He should be good. Can you not hear him? Speak, Davis. Hello. Yep, you're good now. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I wasn't really surprised. Um, the the coverage that they gave us, it, it just it was perfect to what we were trying to run. Um, and uh, so once I saw that, you know, I just uh, I was more thinking about just getting to the spot I needed to get to, and I knew Trevor would hit me, and you know, just take it from there. Are those some? Are those sometimes the hardest ones to catch when you're when you're that wide open? <laughs> yeah, I guess so a little bit. Yeah, just uh, makes you uh, have to concentrate a little bit more. Yeah. That Miami game, that uh, uh, amazing run that Travis had, you, uh, you 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 set a nice block to uh, to spring him free. Um, how much joy do you take in in making a block like that, and um, you know seeing it uh, seeing seeing Travis take advantage of it? Yeah, those uh, those blocks are fun. Um, uh, you know, and it it uh, yeah, I didn't really know where Travis was at behind me, um, and then just I kind of looked up and I I saw him do his thing and he took off and um, it brought a lot of joy. Just you know, it all the, the play just came together and it went to perfection. And uh, um, that was definitely um, probably the highlight. I, th I think I like that better than the the TD catch. Um, uh, honestly, just because, you know, uh, there's just a play that came together and, you know, Putnam had a great block on it uh, and it was uh, executed really well. It is, has, it, has it really sunk in yet what you've been a part of with, with this offense and just the historic – records that, that y'all are setting week in, week out, the, the 73 points on Saturday and 671 yards of offense, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really thankful to be a part of something like this. I really am. Um, you know, uh, I'm thankful, you know, that I get to be a part of an offense, you know, that has, you know, a Trevor Lawrence and a Travis Etienne. And, you know, our O-line has done an amazing job this year. I mean, we – they lead the way, um, you know, and and um, it's hard not to be successful when you've got uh, coaches like Coach Elliott and Coach Streeter and Coach Pierre and all the uh, support staff. Um, you know, they they work their tails off and they make it really easy for us. Uh, they put us in the best situation possible to be successful, and uh, you know, it's just a fun time right now. And uh, I'm really really thankful to be a part of something like this. Hey, Davis, it's David Hood with TigerNet. Let's talk for just a minute about your journey to Clemson. You were known as a great linebacker, I think Region 6A Player of the Year down in Georgia. Do you, do you love linebacker more than tight end? Do you love tight end more than linebacker? And how does playing linebacker help you play tight end? Uh, I don't know if I'd say it. I love one more than the other. I just love football. Um, you know, I like – you know, each position had a different challenge and, uh, you know, I like being challenged. And, um, you know, I think playing a linebacker in high school helped me, um, you know, be able to play tight end here, just the, the physicality standpoint and, um, you know, just kind of understanding defenses. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't think I have a, you know, you know, favorite position better. I don't like one position better than the other. Um, I just like the game and I like, I like to play. Um, you know, it, it's definitely nice scoring, uh, you know, touchdowns and, uh, you know, that's, that's fun. But uh, <laughs> I, I just like the game. I like to play. I like to be out there with my teammates. I have no doubt that you would have eventually wound up at Clemson, but Brandon Spector would probably say that he takes some credit from when he was at Calhoun High uh, for you being here. Can you kind of recap that first meeting with the Clemson coaches when they came down to meet with, with Brandon and, uh, you know, how those first conversations went? 
Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I remember it, you know, like night and day the first time I was actually, uh, I was coming out of weight training with, uh, with the, you know, my weight training class, or whatever. And we're, we're walking to the, our, our locker room, the field house. And, uh, one of my friends kind of tapped me on the shoulder and was like, hey, I think that's Coach Swinney. And I was like, what? No, I don't know. And then, uh, you know, Coach Swinney turned around. I was like, oh, wow, that is Coach Swinney. And so everybody's like, oh, of course. You know, they're here to see Brandon, here to talk to Brandon. And uh, I was like, wow, that's cool for Brandon, man. That's just – that's crazy. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing my thing in the, the locker room, getting ready to go to my next class or whatever. And uh, someone came down and was like, hey, Davis, you know, coaches want to see you upstairs where coach Swinney was and so that was a cool that was a cool experience I was you know I was nervous as can be you know my heart was pounding uh but uh I got up there and Brandon was in there and um coach Swinney was up there so uh that's something I won't forget what was that first conversation you know with coach Swinney like I was just introducing yeah you know I I told him my name and um you know, we just had small talk or nothing, you know, kind of kind of cut on Brandon a little bit. Um, wasn't a whole lot of football related conversation. Um, it was more just uh, hi, nice to meet you, kind of get to know you type type conversation. And I'm sure he told you, you know, we'd love to see you in camp. Was that kind of yeah. the impetus, you know, towards getting to camp and getting an offer? Yeah, after after we uh, we met that one time, um, you know, we, we stayed in uh, touch and, um, you know, after talking uh, a while, you know, they, you know, I came up for a visit um, not long after that. And, uh, and then we start talking about, you know, mm -hmm. trying to get to a camp that following summer. Any other questions for Davis? Yeah, hey David, Was it? 24 seven. Um, just Dabo has been super complimentary of your physicality, and obviously that that kind of pops out on tape, especially in blocking. Just you know, have you always been that physical? Where does that come from? Um, and is that just something that's that's natural for you? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I'd say I try to take pride in, in being physical. Um, you know, I just I'm just trying to do my job really, and. Uh, being physical comes with, you know, you got to be physical playing tight end, especially at this level. And, you know, I, I'm someone who just, I just want to get my job done. I just not only get it done, but I want to do it really well. And, um, you know, I feel like in order to do that, you got to be, you got to be physical. Um, and I, you know, I try to, you know, be physical as a linebacker and, you know, um, just kind of whatever I've always done, you know, I've always wanted to do my job well. And um, so, yeah, I definitely say, you know, in high school, I, I try to be physical. And, um, and now, you know, I try to take great pride in that here, too. Are there any tight ends, uh, either in the NFL now or growing up, that you really admire in terms of wanting to kind of model your game after? Um, you know, I've, I, uh, I liked watching Jason Witten a lot. Um, when I was a kid, just because uh, I think that I watched like a maybe like an E60 on him or a 30 for 30. I used to love those things growing up, but I, I watched something on him uh, as a kid and I was just kind of like, whoa, I, you know, he's got a cool story. And I kind of followed him as a kid. Um, and then now, you know, I like watching, uh, you know, George Kittle and, and Kelsey from the Chiefs and Zach Ertz. You know, there's a lot of guys I like watching now because I just, I don't know if I have a favorite player now, but I just uh, now that I'm, you know, tied in and I'm around this position a lot more, I like to watch other guys at the level, next level, and just kind of see how they do their things. And I like to, you know, uh, I guess just take like mental notes maybe and uh, just like how they like, I like to watch how they play their game. Davis, this is Matt with the state. With, with Braden coming back this year and, and JC obviously returning, where did you see yourself in this offense and how do you feel like you've been able to carve out such a big role? Um, yeah, you know, I knew Braden was coming back and JC and you know, I just 
I wanted to compete with them. Those are two great guys, man. They they work really hard um, each day, and uh, you know, you know them being older than me. I just wanted to take you know watch them and see what they do, and and uh, you know take mental notes and and you know try to you know uh, learn from what they did, and because you know they they have a lot to offer being older and they have a lot more experience and. Um, you know, I, I really enjoy working with those guys. I enjoy working with Jay Lay and Sage and Will as well. Um, you know, and, and as far as, you know, where I thought I might end up in the office this year, you know, I just, I was more concerned about getting better. And I, you know, I just felt like I believe in, you know, uh, you know, put in the hard work, do what I'm supposed to do. And, uh, you know, the good Lord will, he'll take care of everything else. And so that was really my focus going into fall camp, uh, you know, just, just getting better and um, doing my job well. And you could like kind of compare your game to, to Braden some and what you feel like having both of y'all on the field at the same time can do for the offense. Yeah, I mean, I think having us both on the field, you know, that, that, that creates more options. And, uh, uh, you know, I think it makes the defense have to – have to just think about more stuff and worry about more stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it just, at the end of the day, just creates problems for defenses. And, uh, you know, uh, it's really fun being out there with Braden. I enjoy it. Uh, and, you know, um, yeah, no, it's, just, it's just fun being out there with him. Hey, this is Trevor again. How much uh, fun did you have uh, being on the field for that jumbo package with Niles Pinkney scoring? And um, I know he was excited about it, but um, is that something that all of you guys just, just look forward to that opportunity all week? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, that was – I was excited for Niles. Um, that's every big man's dream, to get a touchdown. Um, and so, uh, you know – you know, we worked on that all week and, um, you know, we, we went, out, went out there and executed it like we were supposed to. And uh, it was just, I was happy for now. It was a good moment for him. 